Hey guys, Ms. Katonic here. Welcome back to Let's Play the Empire of Ruthenia. And uh, when we left off, we had realized that we have all of the claims that we actually need on uh, German Hungary here. And uh, the interesting thing about it is that it's actually entirely German. Um, they managed to convert all of the native Hungarians or uh, Croatians, uh, whatever, were actually here to begin with. And, uh, which makes me second guess, I guess, uh, my decision to take it. Um, I mean, really, it's part of their patrimony at this point. But, uh, just for the sake of borders, I guess, more than anything else, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Um, I I'm curious if I should bring my retinues back up. It's gonna be a long time, um... And I don't, I don't know if it's, if it's necessary. Uh, it would obviously help, but I think we can do it without them. Uh, so we're gonna press all claims. We're gonna we're gonna do it. Let's go for it. Oh, <laughs> forgot about this war. Hopefully that's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> oh well. Um, all right. How do you do it? Control, control. Okay. Uh, so the most annoying part of this war is going to be just micromanaging all of my armies. Um, let's bring 39,000 to Pest, I think. Can they support that? Barely. And we'll bring you over to... Krakow. Uh, Russia proper. We'll just bring you over to, uh, Transylvania for a little bit. No, let's go to, let's go to Belgrade, or, uh, Belgrade? No. What am I thinking? That Romanian capital place. Um, okay. I don't know if these guys are really going to play a role in this, but 44,000, yeah, we'll take them. Belgorod, isn't that Belgrad? Am I crazy? Is that not the uh, Romanian name for Belgrad? I don't know. What am I thinking of? Belgorod. Um... Romanian's capital, Turgoviste, isn't it? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's call in Rome. Um, if I uh, if I wanted to be hard on myself, I wouldn't. But uh, I don't want Germany to call in Rome, so I'm going to do it myself. Oh, they couldn't join. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully the um, the Romans don't have an alliance with them. That's not really something I considered. No, they don't. But uh, I don't think they could call them in anyway, since we're actually in another war together at the moment. That might not be true, though. Okay. Um, that's okay. What is this? Oh, the Bartellids actually landed a uh, landed an invasion force in uh, <laughs> in Moldavia. 
They're gonna get squished. Uh, we are taught to uphold the virtue of charity. We have to ransom our prisoners and to forgive offenses willingly. I have prisoners in my du in my dungeons. Uh, giving mercy is a virtue. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, so... We're gonna need leaders in all of our armies. And, uh... Yeah, let's just start this, the slow sieges. We have a holding in Upland? What the hell? No, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting to accrue uh, vassal, vassal penalties. Uh, which is to be expected, really. Still no sign of their doom stacks. They might just be gathering them together. There's, uh... Only little minor ones at the moment. And what do we, what do we have here? Is that Rome? That is Rome. Well, I appreciate your help, but that's not really a, uh... Yeah, you're not, you're not helping me siege this, you're just giving me attrition, and yourself. I guess, sieging it... ...would be the smart thing at that point. Um... Funkf Kirshen. Okay, we landed here. You guys can join up there. Alright, I just, just gotta fight off the tunnel vision. Um, there's a front up here I have to be aware of. Uh, you guys aren't moving. I'll just bring you down here. Okay, so that was sieged. Let's keep moving. And uh, you can actually come out of there. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I'd want to fabricate claims on. Uh, I guess, in a perfect world, I would take this duchy from Rome. I, we could, but the, the, the thing is, uh, he's going to die before I get any of those claims, so... Uh, let's just improve relations with Rome for the moment. Or Germany, actually. Yeah, let's go, let's... Let's do, uh, Germany. And like, we're sorry, we didn't mean to, uh, you know, take your duchy from you. You inherited Barony of Musala from, uh... Alright, I think that's okay. Yeah. Same duchy. Alright, so Germany's actually down here. I'm um, not really sure why. And uh, the Emir we're fighting, or the Sultan, excuse me, has 20,000 guys on, on uh, Corsica. Or uh, Sardinia, actually. And then England over here. God. But yeah, it looks like Rome's finally bringing in their, their heavy, heavy cavalry over there. My only concern is, if I piece them out, I'll lose their armies that are over here.
Holding a Demon is under siege. Where is that? Oh, okay. And so, yeah, I'm not going to piece him out until I get this siege down, I believe. That one is a little too bloody. Uh, you can actually go to Sopran. Tunnel vision, tunnel vision. Uh, okay, still no sign of the German armies anywhere. <laughs> it's actually a little worrying. Uh, here we go, 19,000. They're actually coming to us. Um, let's see if we can get over there. Okay, so that's the entire duchy sieged. Um, what is this? Betrothed. Oh, yes. Are you still... Did, what, what education did you get? Uh, skill tactician, not really the best uh, one I would have hoped for, but everything else is great. Chaste is a little worrying, but uh, really not that big a deal. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, you guys... I don't know why they're advancing on us. It might be because Rome won't join in that fight. I'm thinking that's probably what it is. So, let's bring you over there. bring you to pest, I suppose. Um, I guess you guys can be useful, too. I'm actually leading troops in this. Probably not the best idea, honestly. Um, dying with this war happening would be pretty bad. Uh, it, it would just cause more likelihood of revolts than I would like. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's bring you down to Nitra, I suppose. He will be crossing a river here if he decides to attack. Nope, he's just going to Stolweiss. Um, you know, I guess I should. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, what happened? Did, did she die? Or did I send it? I don't, I don't know. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> oh yes, I took this. And we'll give him Demon. Alright, uh, let's see. Okay, here they come. Yeah, we only have 12,000 guys here. So I need to move you up there. Try to block them. Um, yeah, that's fine. Alright. What, what I need to do is incite him to attack me. That would be the safest thing. Uh, which means you guys, you guys should run that way too.
Alright, he's still coming to still uh yeah, stool ice. Um Fourth of June. I think it'll be okay. I think this guy will get there in time in case it goes bad. He's also getting a little bit of attrition. Although so are we. Alright. Yep, here it comes. Let's bring everyone in. Uh, they have a lot of light infantry, decent amount of heavy cav. I don't know, they have more numbers than we do, essentially, all around. Um, I think we're winning. The center flank of theirs is crumbling faster than ours. Yeah, I think they might be retreating soon. Uh, slew a mayor. Okay. Yeah, as soon as these reinforcements come in, they're gonna start retreating. We killed their leader, actually. Yeah, they were just slaughtered. Wow. Is it a river crossing? I don't know. Yeah, they lost, they lost 16,000 or 5,000. And they're running this way. Uh, man, I, I wish there was a split in half button, but there's not. Yeah, well, we got 20% war score from that one battle. Um, so it's definitely not looking very good for them. Let's uh, let's bring you to Austria. And uh, this guy will bring also to Austria. Uh, you can just stand there for a second. Let me make sure... Alright, that's fine. Yeah, we even got there first. Oh, it's just gonna be horrible. Eh, it actually wasn't, wasn't too bad for them. Uh, hopefully we get there first again, across the river. Um... Where's his capital? Way over there? Is there a supply limit button? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, um, <clears throat> you know what, I think you're gonna go, just go over there. I think this war will be over pretty soon. Yeah, we even got there first again, giving them a river crossing. Uh, my dear friend, I fear the war might drag you away from me longer than necessary, and thus I felt there must be something I could do, so please accept my help and let's win this war together. Uh, is this my vassal? Yeah. That's interesting. Oh! Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Here's Germany's army. Um, 
come on, you pansy. Yep. I see why. Alright, you gotta get there. You gotta go this way. As do you. And so will these guys. As soon as possible. Um... I'll use these guys to, to finish off uh, this little stack over here. And I'll also... I forgot I had these guys. I'll use the Varangian Guard. It's only 3,000 guys, but it's better than nothing. Okay, 93%? He's probably not gonna surrender, no. Just a flesh wound. Yeah, you need to get over there right now. 26th of August. Uh, let's make sure he attacks, actually. Let's make him commit. Um, that's fine. Okay, so he he did attack. Oops, I, that wasn't pause. That was my bad. Uh, is there a mountain miss terrain penalty? It's showing mountains, but I can't really see a indicator. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we are losing this one. Although, reinforcements haven't yet arrived. Yeah. Not going very well. Man, I, I thought this would be mountains. Mountainous, anyway. Alright, guys, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, this, this flank's still crumbling. Um, what was I gonna do? Yeah, you guys can... Oh, it says the same day. I don't know. If, if this guy gets there in time, this battle should be won. This flank uh, being destroyed is pretty bad, though. Alright, come on, guys. Anytime now. Five more days. You can do it! Actually... We didn't even need the, the reinforcements for that. Alright, well once this battle's over, there has to be 100% from that. 30 war score. <laughs> 240 prestige from one battle. 12 military points from that, too. Alright, that's gonna be the end of that war. Uh, Ruthenian War for the Kingdom of Germany. Duchy- Oh my god! Did I- What? Did I declare war for the Kingdom of Germany? Ruthenian War for the Kingdom of Germany, Duchy of Pex. No. Alright, that was just a misleading uh, language there. Alright, well we got the entire duchy and the duchy title. Unfortunately, it is all German culture, but... <clears throat> it's not too bad. Um, all the vassals are German. Okay, what is the duchy called? So I assume the county capital would be, uh, Pex. Oh, this guy's 67. Uh, probably not the best move. 31? That'll work. Zek is Fehervar. 
<laughs> uh, I honestly kind of like the German names better. Um, let's see, Grigori. <laughs> Chancellor of Hedjaz. Alright. Yeah, your time will come, I'm sure. I, I guess they have German localizations for these duchies because of when Austria held them. Like, I assume that's the name that Austria called them. Um, I, I just don't know if Germany had a historical presence in this area, aside from Austria, Hungary, Emperor, uh, Empire. <clears throat> Austrian Hungarian Empire. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, maybe Germany has an ancestral hold on Hungary? I don't know. Um, let's see. I still have the Dutch title. We'll give it to this guy. Alright, and with that, we've finally taken the rest of Hungary. We have the entire Empire of Carpathia. Uh, de jure Empire of Carpathia. And that'll, that'll slowly be uh, incorporated into Ruthenia. Um, yeah, the reason I want to take this is mainly to get this kingdom <coughs> de jure uh, drifting. Yeah, because everything else we have the entirety of, except for this, too, actually. Um, anyway, let's get everyone into our lands. But yeah, successful war. Uh... As long as you have the numbers, war is pretty easy in this game. You just have to uh, let them attack you, and then just bring in reinforcements. It's really like the, you know, it's almost like an instant win button. Yeah, here we go. Ruthenia factions. Okay, everyone's back. drop everything down. It should uh, hopefully alleviate some of this. That's only negative five. I've seen much worse. Um, could press a Dejour claim. Okay, well I guess it's back to uh, Holy Warring Persia. I know, I know you guys have missed me. Um, although there is only two factions left down here. Ten twenty nine. All right, so four more years for you, and six for you. Oh, well, that kind of slows down that that prospect. Um, I mean, I guess we could start on the nor the northern front. I don't know. It kind of breaks my heart because. Uh, the AI reformed the Norse religion on their own. But, uh, my goal is to wipe out all heathen religions, so we're gonna have to do that eventually. Yeah, I cannot believe Spain is coming into, into or England is coming into Spain like this. I mean, I guess it's really their only avenue of expansion. Uh, I think Germany and Rome could both both take care of them. <clears throat> I'm not really sure how England got this enclave here. I wonder if Germany had taken a part of it. Yeah, it's not going to last very long, though. It's, in fact, already... <laughs> already being taken. I wonder if they had been in that war when I declared war on them. I doubt it, though. Uh, let's see what damage I did to his troops. 
All right, he currently has 41,000 guys. Let's see what England has. Uh, 44,000. But th the difference is England ha would have to ship them all over. Um, I, I don't think they could do that in time. Alright. Yeah, we made German, the German king like us again. And yeah, I, I think it is time to, to go to war with the Norse, because... I don't know, it's just... It's time. Those those stupid messages about the Vikings really getting on my nerves. Okay, let's go. Let's take one retinue up here for this front. We'll have one back in Persia for that front. <laughs> but uh, I think I might put a cut in here. Uh, we had a successful war against Germany. I'm just doing some uh, logistical maneuvering here. Should uh, will actually take a while to march from Persia to Norway. Um, but yeah, this has been Miskatonic, and thanks for watching.